in Africa, there's no real difference between playing music and dancing. In most African languages, there's not even a separate word for the two. So um, it's kind of something that always goes together. Music comes from movement. You move on your instrument and you produce sound. And then you hear the sound, in turn it makes you dance. So it's just cause and effect that are reversed, but really music and dance are kind of the same thing for us. We definitely try to um, introduce new, again, new ways of thinking, new approaches to playing together, new production values and things like that into the world of African music and then African music elements into the world of Western music and yeah, try to find something new, whether it have, it's a new genre, I don't know, but it's our personal genre. Yeah, I'm playing this instrument called Lightning, it's built by Donald Buckler. I'm always interested in controller which are not looking like living, sitting behind a laptop and checking email. Uh, that the people can kind of see what, how the music is made and how the music is influenced by controllers. Well, I'm a drummer and I'm interested in the possibilities of electronics, so I didn't want to lose my drum technique by just playing a laptop keyboard. I wanted to see what happens to my percussion technique when I play with electronics. So I play this instrument called the River Lumina that is pretty well suited to that purpose. People are saying, you know, it's hard because I'm, as an artist you have to create. You don't have to always follow what people say, you know. If you're still you, then you have to put out there who you are. So, and I think there is something unique in each of us. And those unique things that we have, we put it together and become something new, something for, for the people to discover.